The Trinity is often referred to as unexplainable dogma. And I think that's unfortunate uh, because the Bible does give us explanations for the Trinity. The fact of the matter is God has revealed himself in the person of the Father, in the person of the Son, and the person of the Spirit. We know that the Father is God. We know that the Son is God. We know that the Spirit is God. We know that this one God has existed eternally in three persons. We know that there is one nature and one essence in these three persons. We know that there is this continuous bond, this unbroken bond of love between the three persons of the Trinity, the Father and His love for the Son and the Spirit, the Son and His love for the Father and the Spirit, and the Spirit and His love for the Father and the Son. It has also been argued that the, son, that the Spirit is actually the personification of the love between the Father and the Son. And so the Bible has much to say about the triune God. It has much to explain to us about the triune God. Our problem is that we want to think of God as just a mighty man. God is not a mighty man. God is God. And as such, he has presented himself to us as the triune God. Our inability to apprehend this is different than saying that it's something that cannot be explained. It can be explained. Most of us just don't like the explanation.